Hello Fashion Sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use bias binding. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. This is what bias binding looks like. This is the back of the bias binding. And bias binding comes in different fabrics. You can even make your own. This is the front. And it has two folds. So just open those out. There. And you can buy it by the metre or yard. And it's used for neatening edges, which I'm going to be showing you on here. And it can also be used for decorative purposes as well. I'm going to show you how to buy a spine a straight raw edge. And as you can see, it's starting to fray a little bit. And we just want that to look a lot neater and nicer. So um, we need to make sure that the bias binding is actually sewn on the seam line. Um, so to actually get that correct, what I've done here is chalked 6 millimeters. So I've chalked 6 millimeters all the way along. And then I'm going to line my bias binding raw edge along that line. And here we have it. So you get the raw edge of the bias binding, put it that way, and you line that up against the chalked line. So therefore you still have the 1.5 centimetres or 5 eighths of an inch seam line. What I've done here is I've lined it up to the chalk mark and I've also pressed the uh, one fold just so that it doesn't roll back on itself when it actually when you actually start sewing it just helps a little bit because that that's what you get so just a light iron you don't want to iron out the crease line of the original bias binding and then I'm ready to take it to the sewing machine and sew I'm ready at my machine and I'm using red thread so that you can actually see what I'm doing I'm just going to increase the stitch length Quicker. Remember, don't sew with your pins, I wouldn't recommend it. So pull those out as I go along. Going. I'm almost there. <laughs> One more. Just about to there. Okay. Machine. And you can hopefully see that there. I'll just recap a little bit. Um, remember, it's the right side of the fabric and the right side of the bias binding in which the seam is actually sewn, as you can see in the red thread. And it's sewn just on one fold of the strip. And then you press it so that you can see both the right sides. So you press it that way. And then you fold it onto the wrong side of the fabric and press again. And then that will conceal the raw edge. And then what we're going to do is stitch along this fold here. And then you'll have a concealed straight raw edge. I'm actually sewing roughly about three millimeters away from the fold of the bias binding. You can see that. And I'm not sewing over my pins. Keep going. So I'm actually working on the wrong side of the garment. I'm stitching on the right side of the bias binding. And there we have it. So that's the wrong side, and then that's the right side. There I have it, it's all nice finished, nicely finished, and that is the right side, and that's the wrong side. And now you can see that the raw edge I can swing it, is all neatly tucked away inside. And that is one method of how to use bias binding. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. If you have any comments, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll see you in my next video.